We got started in alligator hunting years ago. And I got started with some of my friends and uncles when I was young. You know, we've caught thousands and thousands of alligators and most of them I don't remember. But there's a few that always stands out that you do remember, some giants you caught and you're never gonna forget them, you know what I'm saying? The thing about it is, the thrill about it to me is you never know what's on the end of that line. You can run 150 lines in a day and you can be knockout, drag tired, but if you catch that one big alligator, you forget about all the aches, all the pains, you forget about the 100 degree weather and 100% humidity, you forget about everything. It's like a deer hunter that chases a big buck for four or five years, you know, and the big buck keeps winning. Every year he gets away from it and finally you put your tag on him, you know? You know, Dad was always kind of like my, uh, my mentor for deer hunting. Growing up, I hunted in so many same places that, that he hunted, and, and believe me, these places we hunt is not easy, even if you have an ATV or whatnot. And to think, you know, how many of these deer my dad shot back here by himself, and he drug these things out the swamp. You know, it might've took him six, seven, eight hours to drag this thing by himself out of here, but he did it. And he went back the next day and tried to do it all over again. That's how, you know, how much he was into it and passionate about it. He's not into it as much as he used to, but I think it's more because he wants to slow down and, and, you know, he had his day and we get to hunt some really awesome places and I think he enjoys bringing the grandkids and, and spending time with them and making sure they enjoy it just as much as we did. Mm -hmm.